software company Multisys partnered with a PLDT group to launch a community-driven emergency response website called staysafe.ph. Of course, I won't be spoiling the discussion. You'll have to see the interactive heat map yourself. But here to talk about that project and how you can be a part of it, Multisys CEO Dave Almirol joins us live. Hi, Dave. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So you've got nearly 37,000 individuals registered in the system, including myself. I signed up last night. I actually went over the website, and I, was, I thought there was going to be a localized heat map that's going to break down the number of potentially sick people per city or per barangay. Is there? Because I didn't find it. Yeah, that will be accessed and uh, managed by the DILG and the, uh, through the National Task Force on COVID-19. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not yet available? It's available, but that's being monitored by uh, the National Task Force on COVID-19. The, uh, the heat mapping and the dashboard uh, will be accessed by the National Task Force on COVID-19, not the individuals. Oh, okay. So, um, for example, I want to see the heat map. I won't have access yet. Because I tried you looking... Access yet. Yeah, that, that, that heat map is mm -hmm. actually accessed right now by uh, the National Task Force on COVID-19. Only by the... Na Okay, so yeah. only the government and specific agencies will have access. We're actually showing the heat map now. So what are we seeing on the screen, Dave? So uh, these are the locations that uh, individuals reported their health conditions. Mm -hmm. So meaning uh, these are the locations that uh, they're experiencing some symptoms, uh, uh, possible COVID-19 uh, symptoms. Because once you sign up or sign in, currently we have 43,000 subscribers now. And okay. So, it's a big jump the last so, night. Okay. Yes. Uh, so from 37,000 now, it's 47,000 now. So 10,000 uh, subscribers in, in just uh, mm. eight hours. So, Dave, just quickly, the, the heat map that we're showing, what does green or neon yellow or red mean? The, the green ones are the individuals that they have good condition, meaning they're not experiencing any symptoms. Uh -huh. the, the orange ones, uh, they have mild symptoms. So, okay. So, the, it doesn't, uh, uh, it's not uh, severe symptoms, so we color them orange. The red one, these are the individuals that they report that, that they're experiencing uh, two or three of the uh, symptoms, the common symptoms mm. of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Dave, uh, I tried this out last night and it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You just have to register uh, a username, um, your age, uh, which city you live in, and there's a list of, um, there's actually a list of, um, okay, it's the other I think it's the other video. It, there's a list of symptoms that you just have to tick off, uh, whether you're experiencing sore, th there you go, dry cough, fever. Um, so this is what we do, and then we just submit. We can also register our family members in the same household, correct? And then all the data will go uh, to um, creating that heat map. At 47,000, Dave, we're barely scratching the surface for the sample size. I mean, at what sample size will you say, okay, we have enough, the data is pretty conclusive, or at least enough to translate to a dependable uh, heat map? What is the yes. target? Our target, at least we should have at least two to three million uh, subscribers for us to, to see the real heat mapping in the whole country. Mm -hmm. But uh, even we have 47,000 subscribers which is scattered all around the country, so we'll be able to like randomly see the locations where uh, 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 people who are experiencing symptoms. Uh, so you can uh, you can see that uh, in, the, in that area uh, they are in good condition. In mm. this area, you can see that there are people in that area that are experiencing possible COVID-19 symptoms as well. But th but this would be by city, not uh, by city. just by city and not uh, down to the barangay or the street. No, down to the barangay as well. So uh, we are. Uh, we are distributing the access of the LGUs now through the help of the National Task Force on COVID-19. So once all LGUs, uh, they have access, they can only access their own uh, uh, jurisdiction. So uh, like uh, what happened with uh, the city of San Juan, mm -hmm. even to the city of Manila, city of uh, Kauaian City. So we give them the access, they can only access their own uh, uh, municipality or city only. This is only for um, Filipinos living in the Philippines or will Filipinos abroad also be able to uh, tag or mark themselves as healthy or with symptoms? 
It can. That is why uh, this week we're launching our mobile app. So we have the iOS and Android mobile app mm -hmm. for us to activate already the contact tracing that we developed, uh, similar to the uh, Trace Together of Singapore and some features in uh, South Korea. So those features will be available in the mobile app. So it can be accessed by all SWs uh, worldwide, not only in the Philippines. Dave, we're now showing a graphics of how the contact tracing works. Uh, could you explain this very quickly? How does this work? So uh, the contact tracing will be uh, uh, linked whether they use a Bluetooth device or they would uh -huh. like to they would like to share their location. Mm -hmm. uh, since we don't capture any basic information, so they are all the they, uh, they are the one who will approve us if they would like to report their condition uh, using their location. So the moment that the RPUIs or PUM in the area, so uh, once they uh, they approach this uh, uh, suspected or uh, confirmed uh, COVID-19 uh, individuals, so uh, the system will create a link so that you will be notified oh. that uh, you know you are top or you you are near a certain uh, uh, PUI or PUM. A curious question, Dave, because I remember signing up last night and they didn't ask for my street. I didn't yes. log in my street. How how will the system know where I am exactly? I only put in Quezon City. It's uh, it's actually your GPS. Oh, okay. So your, your 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 mobile number. Uh, there's a GPS. It's not mm. accurate. That's why we don't want to capture your mm -hmm. street, your barangay. Uh -huh. So GPS is not accurate actually. Okay. So uh, so meaning is like a 200 to 300 meter. I see. Because we would like to protect the data privacy and the exact location also of the individual as well. Okay. And um, so what other unique information can be gleaned from StaySafe.ph that are not available elsewhere? Actually, if you try to put uh, some symptoms, uh, we mm -hmm. have uh, an AI that could give you health tips. Oh, so if, okay. you, if, you de if you declare some uh, symptoms, so it will tell you what to do, uh, mm -hmm. some tips uh, to, uh, to, to at ease yourself. Mm -hmm. At the same time, uh, we have the Multibot also that uh, we launched, so that will be inside the, uh, the mobile app that uh, we're launching this week. Mm -hmm. We also have the artificial intelligence, uh, in, especially on the uh, heat mapping and the case management system. Mm -hmm. We also have the contact tracing, the advanced contact tracing that we embedded in the mobile app. So uh, watch out for the uh, mobile app because right now you're only accessing the website, right? So yes. hopefully it will be done everything this week. Mm -hmm. um, just very quickly, Dave, I also wanted to share because there's a, a section there, I think we're showing the video now, how how I want to help, something like that. You can tell them I, I want to be a donor, I want to donate, I am a frontliner, um, there, there's how can you help? There you go. How can you help? Then it opens. I'm a frontliner. I am a doctor. I want to donate goods. How does this feature work? Yeah, we are receiving a lot of uh, a lot of individuals. You know, that they would like to help. So we receive that in our uh, help the support. So we're talking to them uh, personally. So we instruct them what to do. So especially uh, those uh, nurses and doctors, they would like to offer a free consultation. So we're giving them access uh, so that uh, they can. Uh, they can click the severe or mild uh, uh, condition of uh, certain location, so they can call them, they can give uh, free consultation. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if they would like to donate cash or, or, or goods, so we tap them to a, a certain uh, NGO or a certain mm -hmm. non-profit organization, so that they'll be the one to coordinate with them. Mm -hmm. You know, um, Dave, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful app that you created there, uh, set up. A couple of years back, I remember, there were Japanese pharmaceutical giants came up with a brilliant idea on how they can track flu incidents and better allocate limited drugs. They used Twitter. They did social listening and based on conversations about flu online, determined which areas had the most cases. Is this something that you hope to achieve as well, knowing where certain illnesses are concentrated? Traded, also helping to direct pharma companies and medical companies to direct their supplies. Do you think this is something that you could look at down the road? Yes, uh, that's why we designed the heat map dashboard to visually show the areas uh, with worsening or improving rate of COVID-19 cases. Uh, on top of that, uh, Stay Safe uh, is powered by a contact tracing system where COVID-19 was suspected, probable, and confirmed cases mm -hmm. are tracked. Uh, this will help break the chain of the COVID-19 transmissions and ultimately uh, assist also the LGUs of national government uh, to decide on actions. 
to be taken uh, when mm -hmm. things uh, ease or escalate in a certain community. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that you're partnering with a PLDT group, that only means one thing, one foot in the door, for a lot of possible cooperations or synergies with other units of MVP companies like from hospitals, telco, toll roads, utilities. What synergies do you see emerging from this project? Oh, uh, PLDT and SMART uh, uh, has already extended help by allowing uh, mm -hmm. all smart users access to the website without data charges. So uh, we have a partnership also with other companies, uh, but we're still in the discussion stage. So we'll, 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 we will announce more partnership with the private sector uh, once they, they're finalized. Okay, on that note, thank you very much, Dave, for joining us this afternoon. Good luck. Definitely going to check on the heat map again this afternoon. Thank, thank you, you so much.